Have you ever decided to make something for somebody as a food gift? You think, well, I'll whip up some cookies or maybe make something pretty. And then as you begin to work and encounter issues and it's time consuming and maybe one or two mistakes adds up, you think, ugh, why did I do this? This is a new marshmallow recipe for me. It uses just gelatin, no albumin proteins, no egg white. It was an experiment to see what kind of texture would come from this other process. It's got an orange flavor base with studded pistachio and cherries, and I'm going to dip it in chocolate. I've never believed in selling day-old bakery at a lower price or putting out subpar product at a discount. I would rather work with a lower volume and a higher quality of product that I know is going to be and reflect my best effort. So when I'm recipe testing, if something doesn't come out 100% to my satisfaction, I do not give it away. I either eat it myself or I compost it if it's a huge mistake. The difference between making something and testing it and putting it on a paper plate and sharing it with people and taking it to its final most perfect state is night and day. It's very humid outside. The marshmallows are very finicky. They're very soft. You could see that they were a challenge to cut, but at no point am I having a problem. So I keep moving forward. So I am melting very high quality chocolate and dipping each marshmallow into the melted chocolate as a foot. This will make it easier to package and I think a little easier to pick up and enjoy and also give whoever eats it a little bit of texture contrast. The packaging is just as important as the product. I like to use clear bags and craft packaging. That way, anytime I use a pop of color in a ribbon or in a sticker, or if the product's very colorful, everything remains very uniform. So the next time you give a food gift, give it with intention. These gifts are a complete sentence and they say how you feel about the people around you.